there is one of you he sent me a message in uh, uh, in Facebook <coughs> and in this message uh, this uh, gentleman he showed me uh, something a Muslim guy he posted once a Muslim brother guys sit down please sit down everybody we will tell you a story it's a very nice story all right and I hope all of you you will enjoy it once upon the time a Muslim brother got a job in the restaurant I mean in the how in the world somebody want to give a Muslim a job in the restaurant those people they grab their balls every two seconds because their prophet he taught them the manner once upon the time a Muslim brother got a job in the restaurant he took with him container of for water so that he can use for a toilet purpose so every time he goes to the toilet he fills the container with water and take it with him now here you notice how the how the story how the lie of the story started anyone notice where is the lie anyone notice where is the lie have you ever seen a bathroom does not have a faucet at least to wash your hands so why he have to fill the container in the kitchen and then he take it with him to the bathroom <laughs> But because he have to tell you the rest of the story is connected to this part The rest of the story is connected to this part So he have to fill the water in the, in the container out not in the bathroom This is how we see and we can tell the story is made up So he filled the container and he take it with him All right one day a Christian man remember here is a Christian man not an atheist is a Christian man who also work there saw him taking water and ask him about the reason for it ah, there's a question mark here why this guy is taking the container why this guy this Christian guy he start trying to investigate the reason for this Muslim to take the container maybe he want to do terrorism attack maybe why he is taking the container when he go to the bathroom what somebody will do with water in the bathroom okay so the story continue all the drama the Muslim brother told him after releasing the dirt material we we should clean that place and the cleanness is a major the cleanness is a major part of Islam clean the place clean what clean the place Oh man, unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. So the Muslim explaining to the Christian pig, because you remember Christians are pigs are dirty. You know, Christians do not know how to clean. A Muslim Abdul, he is the guy, he will tell this Christian who is a naive, who is coming from the cave time, who do not know how to clean himself why we take water with us to the bathroom simply uh, because we Muslims are so clean I mean who can be more cleaner or cleaner than Muslims when I saw this uh, this text I was saying to myself, I mean, how how stupid Muslims are when they try to fool us with them being clean. Do you think really Muslims we are going to swallow this lie? Do you think we are going to take it and believe it? I mean go to any Muslim country and see right away I can show you videos from Mecca Mecca huh? the Kaaba you will see how dirty disgusting the floor and the ground around the Muslims why if you are so clean why your countries look like a garbage you know, a, a, a dumpster you know what I mean their countries is so clear clean but yet
I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. Obviously, the Muslim they consider the Western are people who they are stupid and they have no idea. Let us see the cleaning of a Muslim. First, let us continue the story. Sorry, I, I, I hope I did not disturb the the enjoyment of the story because we did not see it to the end yet. You know. Um, We want to know the end of the story. I mean, it sounds exciting, and I don't want to kill the excitement of this amazing uh, story. In the front of, all, of us, we see the man said, which means the Christian man. That why not use the toilet paper so the Muslim don't use the toilet paper the brother asked him that if such a dirty thing touched his hands would he use the toilet paper to wipe it off or use water I mean look at the logic if such a dirt touch your hand what you will use to clean it with the toilet paper or the water the man understood and said no he would use the water the next day the Christian man brought a container for himself and he used it during relieving himself when he came out of the toilet he was a crying oh man this is what shit can do excuse my language this is the guy who cried for shit he came out crying and tears were ruling, ruling like oh, all of this because of what? Because of shit. Down his cheek, the Muslim brother asked him. Oh man, this story is getting so exciting. The Muslim brother asked him why he is a crying. The Christian, the, the Christian who cried like, and his tear is ruling, remember, said. For the first time in my life, I feel completely clean. Wow! Unbelievable. Therefore, he accepted Islam and became a devoted Muslim. This is how, my friend, even shit can convert someone to Islam. I mean, this is a shitty conversion. This guy, this, guy, this Christian guy, according to the story, which obviously it's a false story, he converted to Islam because of shit now I don't know who is the stupid here first of all Abdul we the Christian in the Middle East we are the one who clean ourselves in water not you Muslims your prophet he clean his ass with rocks not with water And right now, we are going to show you how Muhammad he used to clean himself. And that include all kind of a cleaning, and you will see by yourself, be the judge, how clean Muhammad he was. You know, when a Muslim try to fabricate a story, Sometimes I ask myself, do those Muslims have a brain? Do Muslims have a brain? Because who in the world, Mr. Muslim, is going to believe that because of shit, somebody will convert to Islam? Secondly, who told you that everybody in the world uses toilet paper? Toilet paper is something new, Abdul. Today, because there's toilet paper, some people are lazy, so they are using toilet paper. However, the origin of cleaning yourself, you clean with water. What people used to do is before, before the toilet paper, they used to use water. So it's very stupid, very naive, very dumb, and very, you know, as, as, as the Muslims are the one who taught everybody 
how to clean his ass. I will show you amazing stories about the very clean prophet because remember the Muslim they learned everything from their prophet with no exception let us go to the hadith let us switch and go there all right I'm going to find you the hadith in the front of your eyes I'm not going to pick up my cherries we will see how Muhammad how clean he was All right. This is how the Prophet of Islam used to clean himself. Let us start with the first hadith. It was said, O Allah Messenger, shall we use the water of Bida? The water of Bida is water where people they dump their garbage, including flesh of dogs, women rags from menstruation, and garbage. Muhammad he said water is always clean nothing make it impure so as long as we are talking about clean with water we need to find out what kind of water we can use according to Islam it said it was said O oh, messenger of Allah you perform wudu what what you you perform wudu and this is the reference for the hadith so nobody will say to me and I will show you this is this is a Sahih hadith and I will show you the rest too it was said O Messenger of Allah you perform wudu you mean you wash yourself from the well and this is not really a well of water this is uh, like a dump place it's dry you know nobody will dump garbage in a well in the desert water in the desert is a priceless so this is because it's just an empty hole in the ground and dirty water go there the sewage let's say the sewage of the of the little village uh, we show we saw you doing wudu evolution in the well of water where the bodies of dogs and menstrual rags and garbage are thrown in he said water is pure and nothing made it impure so Abdul when you taught the Christian guy and he was crying for the first time in ever in his life he felt so clean was your prophet feeling so clean when he was washing himself with water have dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage actually in different hadith it's make it more clear that even the water stink and whatever is inside of it is a stink let me show you read with me And again, this is Sahih Hadith, as you see. You see, it's Sahih. Do you see it, Abdul? I hope I hope the Abdul they can see with me that this is Sahih. I passed by the Prophet when he was performing wudu. <clears throat> so a guy, his name Abu Sa'id al Khudari, and this is a very trustworthy person. Abu Sa'id al Khudari, he have like tons of hadith reported by him. So what Abu Sa'id al-Khudari he saw? He saw something amazing about the, the, the amazing prophet, most beautiful prophet ever. I passed by the prophet and when he was performing wudu from the will of Buddha, I said, are you performing wudu from it when garbage is thrown into it? Like what the heck? Actually, it doesn't even say garbage in Arabic. It says a netin. A netin. A netin in Arabic mean the stinky, the stink. You see a netin. It doesn't say garbage. It says. It says actually garbage. Mayakar hanas and mean a netin, which the stinky one. Not only it's a garbage, it's the stinky one. Muhammad he said, water is a clean and nothing make it any pure. Based on this, 
your prophet he used to take a shower in the sewage actually the sewage does not have a blood of I mean it's a small Be'er is about six foot wide it's about six foot wide so how here we go just to show you that I'm not making things up this is the description of Be'er from the hadith let me show you this is Sunan Ibn Dawood and the hadith is Sahih as you see you see Sahih so don't tell me this is weak potato tomato you know it all right how big the bear of Bida? This way where women they throw their garbage and their blood and their menstruation rags and dead dogs and the water is stink. Read with me. Abu Dawood said, I measured the breadth of the well of Bida with my sheet, small sheet, which I stretch over it. I then measure it with the hand. It's measure six cubits. So the length is six cubits. And the height of it is for your private part. And the water in the well was changed water. The color is, is bad. You see, it says below the private part of the body. So it's a small, small container of water, six cubit width. The height is less than your private part. And there's dead dogs, and there's women of blood from period, and the water stink. Then a Muslim trying to fool us and say to us that Muhammad, he was a clean person. There's a hadith actually, I want to find it, but let me see. I don't remember the, you know, I'm getting old. Let me see if I can remember it. Hold on. Um. Yadahu, uh, mm. All right. Let us see. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to get you dizzy. Let me. Let me put you in the, in the sky view, so you guys gonna get dizzy. I'm looking for the hadith, to show you how Muhammad he used to clean himself in the bathroom because it's very disgusting. And very, bad. Hold on. And then soon we will see how disgusting Muhammad is. And I find it very, very funny when a Muslim speak about Muhammad being so clean. Guys, read with me. Here we go. I found the hadith. This is how Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam, he cleaned himself. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari, and this is a Sahih hadith. The Prophet took a bath of Janaba between two brackets, sexual intercourse. So what the Prophet he did, he have sexual intercourse. Muhammad now is going to clean himself. 
So the prophet he took a bath of sex or what a dream. The prophet he used to see what a dreams. He have 13 wives, but yet he have what a dreams. Okay. He first cleaned his private part with his hand. Okay. How he cleaned his private part with his hand? Oh, excuse me, excuse me, please. I'm not being dirty, but this is the topic. That's mean Muhammad he was rubbing his penis with his left hand all right and then rub it that hand on the wall what what the prophet he clean himself from sex he have sperm all over his private body so Muhammad now is going to teach us how to clean excuse me ladies I don't mean to be rude but the topic is bad so if you don't like to hear it please you know close your eyes your ears and get out so Muhammad now is going to teach us the manner of being clean and how he do that he did hold his private part with his hand and he rubbed it with his hand and then he rubbed the hand on the wall i mean this is super clean can you imagine the color of the wall of muhammad muhammad in the bedroom at that time there's no bathroom you know bathroom people they used to go outside in the in this in the in the in the yard you know they do poo poo this is why Umar al khattab he saw Sauda doing poo poo and he told muhammad about it so imagine how clean this idiot is he is cleaning his hand by his his private part by his hand and then his hands is wiped all the sperm he have in his hands on the wall and a Muslim is going to tell us about the amazing Prophet of God who have taught us everything including how to do poo poo actually there's a hadith that says قَدْ عَلَّمَنَ الرَّسُولَ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَتَّى الْخَرَاءِ the Prophet he taught us everything including how to do shit Including how to do shit. I mean, this is shitty. <laughs> what kind of a man he do such a behavior? I mean, how pig? You see, the Muslim they call the non-Muslims they call them pigs. But who is the pig here? This is not a behavior for any man. You know, already we showed you the man is taking a shower in the water, have dead dogs, women blood from period. And people around him, they were saying to him, how you do that? How you do that? Which mean people, they don't, they don't like it. Which mean people before, in the time of Muhammad, nobody do that. This is how we thinking Muhammad is. If we go to different hadith, we will find the following. Muhammad never said when you go to the bathroom you clean yourself with water look what he said when any of you goes to the right which means toilet to defecate let him take with him three stones <laughs> guys do you see it 
So the Christian guy, he converted to Islam because the Muslim guy, he told him to clean his ass with water. The prophet, he didn't clean his ass with water. He cleaned his ass with the three stinky stones. You see the reference? Actually, once Muhammad was doing shit, excuse my language, I'm just saying it as it is. The guy he gave him shit to clean his shit with. Look what he gave him. The prophet so so went out to answer the call of nature. Hmm? It doesn't say he went out to call it. He went out to shit. It says al -ghayr. The Muslim trying to use the English uh, in a nice way. I found two stones and I searched for the third one because Muhammad, he said, you have to use the three rocks. So the guy now have a problem. He found two stones, but he could not find the third one. So what he did, he, he saw, so I took a dried piece of dunk, like what the heck? And I brought it to him. He took the two stones and throw away the dunk and said, this is filthy thing. <laughs> now, guys, do you know, and actually, different hadith, Muhammad, even he used bones. What water, what those people are talking about? The prophet, look, you see, the Muslim, they might say to you, well, Muhammad, he live in the desert. So what do you expect? Go back with me. You will see he is older in them. It doesn't matter where they are. Read with me. When any of you goes to do shit, I'm using the word as it is in Arabic. It says here, al -ghayat. Let him take with him three stones and clean himself with them. Now, I want the Muslim to try to clean themselves with the three stones, three rocks, and I wonder why this guy was taking with him a container of water as we saw in the in the uh, Facebook why he don't take with him a container have a three rocks I don't know not only that the prophet because he was so clean he was full of lies he was full of lies And look here, Muhammad is teaching Muslims that three rocks is enough to clean you. I want the Muslim to try it. Three stones is enough for him to clean him. I mean, does it hurt if we make it four? How with three rocks? I mean, and what kind of ass Muhammad do you have to clean his ass with rocks? Do you have an ass of a camel? What kind of ass he have? Rocks? Maybe he was a gay, so he is used to in that location, so it's tough. Rocks? That's that's weird. And as you see. The story is all over about Muhammad using three rocks to clean himself. All right. Now let us see what else. Let us see. Uh, here we go. Yahya related to me from Malik, from, 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 etc. That the Messenger of Allah, may Allah pray on him and salute him. Doesn't say bless him, that's a lie. He visited Umu Haram, been to Mihan. Obviously, she was his girlfriend, and the husband is a pimp. 
because this guy he go to a woman she is not his wife and the funny Muhammad he says to people that you cannot enter a house is not yours so he entered upon this woman and he put her his, his head in her lap he sleep in her lap and as you see she is a wife of a man already so once one day the Messenger of Allah may Allah bless him and Allah pray on him he called on her and she fed him and sat down to delose his hair delose his hair in Arabic it says to clean his hair from flies from fleas from fleas the Prophet always his head and his body is full of lice Muhammad is full of lice because he was so clean if you remember once I have a debate with this guy the the the, the one who make his hair like girls uh, what's his name the kid Osama Abdullah the owner of ensuring Christianity he came to our chat room and he says you Christians stink I said we do he said yeah all of you full of lies <laughs> I said to him so are you saying the one who is full of lies is dirty he said yes absolutely then I showed him he's a prophet his head is full of lies so right away he starts saying uh, well, you know, uh, at that time, uh, there is, you know, uh, you know, um, 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 uh, 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 and he disappeared. Let me search for the other hadith. The prophet is full of lies. Uh, Any one of you before he have some lies, like just for fun? Uh, let us see. All the Muslims are full of lies anyway, but I will show you how Muhammad himself is full of lies too. Look what Muhammad, what Aisha she is saying. Aisha, she's saying. The Prophet, he was a human among other humans. He himself removed the lies of his clothing. Do you see it? I mean that's his he must be clean and that explain why he have too much lies he take a shower with dead dogs who in a blood from period stinky water and he clean his hands in his house wall by drying his hands full of sperm in the wall I mean what do you expect what do you expect and Aisha, she is witnessing that Muhammad was a good guy. He even cleaned his lies from himself. I mean, what do you want more? Even the Quran, by the way, even the Quran mentioned in chapter 2, verse 196, that Muslims, they, have, they are full of lies. Imagine, guys, even Allah have to talk about it. You believe it? Allah himself you have to mention let me open the verse for you hold on Allah himself he had no choice but to mention the danger of lies and look like this is was the, 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 the issue of every Abdul who follow Muhammad to the point Allah himself he have to involve with it it's not like you know a prophet he is saying to his followers no Allah the God of Islam, 
he is speaking about it <coughs> let me show you the reference hold on <coughs> Um. Anyway, this is the reference. Let us see it in front of uh, our eyes. As you see here, this is chapter 2, verse 196. Allah Himself is saying, وَأَتِمُّ الْحَجَّ وَالْعُمْرَةِ etc. And then the one who have a problem with his head, أَدَى مِنْ رَأْسِهِ what is the problem in the head of the Muslim? That was the lies. Read with me. I hope it's coming clear. Let me see. Do you see it, guys? Allah Himself is trying His best to help the Muslims with the issue of lies. So how bad the situation was and how clean the Muslims are. The God who created the universe, he is speaking about lies. No, it's coming fine. I see it. So do you see it? So Allah make a verse is speaking about Muslims suffering from lies. The prophet suffer with lies. Well, what you expect? A prophet who taught you how to clean your ass by three rocks. A prophet, actually, even Muhammad, he in, in one of the hadith, he, he forbid Muslims from cursing the lies because they said they are blessed animals. Lies are blessed animals. Why they are blessed animals, Prophet? He said, because they uh they wake up the, the believers. The, the prophets to pray you believe it you want to tell me that somebody he converted to Islam and he was crying because you told him to use water you think people don't have water in their home you idiot you Muslims you used to take a shower once a year if you ask anyone why people they are full of lies simply they are not taking shower they are not cleaning themselves they are dirty they are stinky and the prophet who have shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period is the last one to teach me how to clean myself that cannot be a prophet of God for he himself obviously he is a madman he is a madman that is not a behavior of any normal man who take a shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period and their rags even the hadith by the way say the word stink let me show it to you from the muslim translation not my translation uh, let me show it to you a prophet taking a shower with the garbage i mean here we go do you see it this is the Muslim translation, not mine. And this is Sahih Hadith. Now I know the Muslim right away, they will say, this is weak, this is weak, Allahu Akbar. It's not weak, it's Sahih Hadith. You see it? Muslims say, take, take, take a snapshot, take selfie, take selfie. Abdul, please take a selfie. It is Sahih Hadith. Huh? So what the Sahih Hadith says, let us show you. The Sahih Hadith said, the people asked the Messenger of Allah, can we perform a pollution out of the will of Bida, which is a will uh, uh, into which menstrual closes dead dogs and stinking things were thrown
and we showed you before and the hadith before it that this is was six cubit wide hole in the ground full of garbage and dirty water imagine if we have only one dead dog one dead dog in that water how big is your bathtub let us say this uh, this hole in the ground is bigger twice than your bathtub it's like a jacuzzi huh it's a jacuzzi and we have a dead dog there and we have only one woman rag one woman rag from menstruation just one not ten women not you know the fact this is where all the women in the in, in, in Mecca they throw their garbage this is a place where women they dump their menstruation rags and yet Muhammad he is taking a shower in it and supposedly by doing that he is ready to be pure in front of Allah You see it? I hope I did uh, we did cover this issue and I want to say thank you guys for being uh, good followers if you like to contact me you see the link in the front of you in the top feel free to contact me if you like to invite me to your church to teach about Islam and remember we do it for free all right so if you like to invite me this is the link is shown in the screen All right, so you can contact me there, and if you have, if you want to contact your church, they want to invite me, and uh, we so we can teach, and we we teach by the way all kind of uh, people, which mean young, old, adult, it doesn't matter, educated and educated, it doesn't matter. Education should be given for everybody for free. The Lord He said, for free you took, for free you give. So I want to say thank you for being with us. Don't forget, if you like to read my books, you can go and search for my books in Amazon.com. Just type Christian Prince, and you will find a list of my books in many languages. And especially my books is meant to refute and to get Muslims and Islam busted. So my books is different kind of style. It's not, you know, it's not, a, it, it's not, it's not a normal book. I mean, you, you can go and check it out. The style is different, the way it's presented is different, everything is different. So feel free to go, and this is Quran and Science and Death, and we have it in French, we have in uh, Swedish, we have in German, and soon we will have it in Dutch. I want to say thank you, may the Lord bless you, and as always we close by, we say Christ is Lord, Islam is false. I mean to that, and see you soon again, bye-bye.